Hello, I'm Mike Oi from Empire Studio. Today, I would like to teach you how to play Koi Moi card game. Before you play, let's separate the cards according to background colors. In this video tutorial, I'm going to play menu A. You can choose any menu that you want or do your own customization using the menu combination given in the rule books. Once you are done combining the menu A, the remaining coins that are not in play will be put back into the box. We will not be playing those coins in this menu A. We are going to do a 3 player game setup in this video. Please refer to the rule books if you have other numbers of players for the setup. Shuffle the main deck to make sure the cards are evenly spread out and then deal 7 cards each to 5 mini decks to be placed in the middle of the table. The remaining cards in the main deck are put aside to be played later again. This game is to be played over 3 rounds on a rotational basis. The player with the highest total score is the winner. Decide the starting player for the first round. Psst, psst, psst. Before start the game, let me share with you one tips. Try to combine the cards that will give you maximum score. First player to choose a deck from the table and pick a card from it. Place it face down in front of yourself. The rest of the remaining cards from the deck are to be put back into the middle of the table. Then the next player will do the same action if possible concurrently to speed up the game. Once everyone is done from the card picking pace, everyone will reveal the card they pick on that round at the same time. This marks the completion of the first turn. For the second turn, the second player in the previous turn will become the first player for this turn and repeat the action again. The player can choose back the same deck or another available deck to pick the card. This game will continue until one of the mini deck is running out of card. This will immediately trigger end of the first round. Then player will start to count the score for the first round. In this case, player 1, 9 marks, player 2, 13 marks, player 3, 18 marks. Reshuffle all the cards into the main deck except the cards with the end of the game wording. In this menu A will be Putu Piring. They are to be accumulated and to be counted at the end of the third game. On the second and third round, do a similar setup like in the first round. Deal 7 cards each into 5 mini decks to be placed in the middle of the table. Choose a new starting player and repeat the process again like in the previous round until one of the deck is running out of cards. At the end of the third round, while calculating the score, make sure to include the score for the put pairing card. The final score for player 1 will be 58, player 2 62, player 3 75. As you can see, the game is quite easy to master and offer a lot of way to play it. It's one of the best games I've played. Till then, see you next time.